Hey everyone, today I'm doing an e.l.f. Cosmetics beauty haul. I hope you guys like these types of videos. You guys said you wanted to see more hauls and more drugstore stuff, so I thought this would be perfect. I'm part of like e.l.f.'s beauty squad where you get like every quarter, I think you get like a package of a themed box sort of of different products, like new things and also some older products from e.l.f. So I thought I would share it with you guys because I haven't been sharing some of the stuff I've gotten recently and I really need to because I've had some really great products. I just always incorporate them into videos but I thought I would do this one just more of like a haul form. So let's go ahead and get started. So this package was centered around summer festivals, so everything is very glittery and bright and cute lip colors, all that kind of stuff. So first thing is the e.l.f. Baked Bronzer. This is in Los Cabos, and it looks like it says it's the long-lasting formula that provides a smooth and even application. It says it has tons of good nourishing ingredients like apricot, grape, hoba hoba, rose, sunflower to nourish and hydrate the skin. Very interesting for a bronzer. So this is pretty small. It looks like about the size of a blush. But the color looks pretty good too. I'm not a fan of shimmery bronzers, but if you can make them look right. Let's see. I'm not getting much coming off. I feel like I kind of have to dig on this one. So the color looks pretty nice. I feel like this could be a highlighter if you applied it really lightly, but if you had more of a heavy hand, you could definitely use this as a bronzer. I'm not sure if that's showing up, but the color looks to be pretty good. It's definitely more of a neutral brown, like more of a cool tone, so it's not an orangey bronzer or anything like that. So I feel like the color is nice. I'll have to try this out on my skin to see if it's more pigmented on my actual skin, but um, for something that's really shimmery, I think it's good to kind of be less pigmented so you don't end up with like muddy, shimmery looking bronzer. If you guys saw one of my um, previous um, common makeup problem videos from that series, I did one on how to avoid muddy bronzers, so make sure you check that one out. No particular order here. The next one is the Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow in Celebration. It's funny, I actually already have this, so I will probably keep it for you guys to give away in my next giveaway, but this says it's vibrant, shimmering, long wearing color that can be worn as an eyeshadow or an eyeliner. It's a shimmery, whipped gel texture. It's easy to blend and lightweight for lasting comfort. Perfect for highlighting and adding extra shine for a glamorous look. Let me see if I can find my other one to actually show you guys what it looks like and swatch it. So here is my version. I'm pretty sure this is still good. Super shimmery, very pigmented as well. Still intact. I've had this thing for years and it's still creamy. I'm really surprised it's not dried out, but super shimmery. Really great just at like providing a good base if you wanted to apply a shadow over it or you could wear it alone. I feel like you would definitely need a good primer and a setting spray because this is pretty creamy so it might crease on you. Here's another one here in Toast. I don't think I have this one. Hmm, I don't want to open it though because I might save these products for you guys to give away. Let me just see if I can check out the color without like dipping my finger in it. So this is this, oh gosh the whole thing just fell out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's just set that back down in there and hope that it stays. I'm pretty sure that happened with my last one. I just kind of smushed it to get it to stay in there. No big deal. It still worked great. This one is really pretty too. It looks like it's just more of a gold champagne color versus like the silver one. That's really pretty too. I love how these are like all shimmery and just fun for summer festivals. Here's a cream eyeliner. I don't have any teal eyeliner, so this is exciting. This is the Studio Cream Eyeliner in Teal Tees. I love wearing colored eyeliner in the summertime, so this is awesome. Oh, there looks like to be a lot of product in here, and that's a really pretty teal color. I feel like you could also use this as an eye base, too, if you wanted to. So I got a lot of color payoff right there, and that's just how it blends out. Obviously, it wouldn't be that sheer looking when you use, like, an angled eyeliner brush, but that is really pretty. I love that, like, mermaid blue color. I can see myself doing a lot of tutorials with that. Definitely keeping that one. It also comes with a little brush too that looks to be pretty good, like it's an angled eyeliner brush. It says it's long wearing, smudge proof, lines and defines your eyes, water resistant, achieves thin or bold lines with ease. So I also wanted to throw this eyeliner in here. This came in the last package that I got. I should have done a video on all those products, but this is the Intense Ink Eyeliner and I wanted to show you guys this because it is amazing. This is like the best liquid liner I have ever tried. This is in a dark navy blue color, but just look at the point on this eyeliner. It is so long, it has really good control, and it's very fine. The only problem with this is 
it stains my eyelids. I don't know what I'm doing. I've tried using a primer underneath. I've tried everything. It doesn't come off all the way when I remove my makeup at night, but it's usually gone by like the next night when I take off my makeup. So it doesn't bother me too much, but it sucks that it does stain. But you can just see how thin that line is and perfect. I can get really precise, like winged out eyeliner. Like it's so sharp, like it could stab someone. It looks so good. So I'm just impressed with this. I hope it doesn't dry up anytime soon because I really like it. I want to get this one in black because this this beats a lot of the higher priced eyeliners that I have tried. So then I have some lip products here. They sent a lip gloss. This is fun. This is the Lip Lacquer in Purple. That is a bright purple. Like that is actually purple purple. This is shimmery. I've never tried their lip lacquers before. It looks like this is from their regular line, so they're $1 products. Watch it here. Oh, that formula feels amazing for like a dollar or two or three, whatever the price is. I'm not sure. But um, that is a really vibrant color. I could see myself wearing this with like that teal eyeliner or something. That would be really fun to just do a really bright, fun, summery look. But um, you could probably sheer this out if you didn't want something that intense. But that color pigmentation is incredible. It looks like it has a little bit of shimmer in that too. But I don't know if that's really transferring onto here. It just looks really shiny and nice. So then I have the Hyper Shine Lip Gloss. I'm not going to open this one up just because I already have one. So I want to save this for a giveaway. This has a smooth glide brush. It's in the shade Vixen. These are a little bit sheer. I've had a few of these before. They smell really good. They go on really nicely. They just apply like a really sheer gloss. This is great if you're really young too. I feel like when I was like 15 or something and didn't want to wear a lot and this would have been really great because they're very um, sheer wearable color like if you don't want too much going on but it gives a really nice like tint to your lips. So that's a really pretty like a watermelon red color. Then there is a lip balm with SPF 15 sunscreen. Perfect for summer festivals. This is in the shade Nude. I actually have another one of these. I have like a pink color, but this one is a nude one. This has a mint smell too, which is amazing to cover up that SPF smell that I cannot stand. It sucks when you can taste it too. So that's a really pretty just shimmery nude color. I can see myself throwing this on just when I don't want to wear a lot. So, or you could put that over a lip liner or something. Um, I don't know if this is meant to be like long wearing or anything like that, but it's just supposed to be a really nice lip balm. Last thing that they included was just temporary tattoos. I don't know if they sell these on e.l.f. or not, but if they do, I'll be sure to link them with the rest of these products. So these are really cute. There's gold and silver ones, perfect for festivals and stuff. So I'm going to have all these products that I mentioned listed on the blog post with this video. That'll be the first link in the description box below. I'll be sure to include any e.l.f. coupon codes that are out right now if you guys want to place your orders. Um, these are available at CVS now. I'm pretty sure Target has them. I don't know if Walmart is carrying e.l.f. I believe they might be. So they're popping up in drugstores all over, which I think is great because their products are amazing. I'll have another tutorial with e.l.f. products coming up for you guys very soon. Um, if you want to see anything specific, any of these products reviewed or tutorials with, definitely let me know. I'm thinking something with that purple lip gloss and teal eyeliner. So let me know if you guys want to see that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll talk to my next video. Bye, everyone. Hey everyone, today I'm doing a summer fashion try-on haul. I haven't done one of these in so long and I really want to get back into them. I really try not to order clothes too much, so I don't do these very 